I just cannot describe in words how honored I am. When I first started, I saw these people who are being inducted for Hall of Fame, and I was like, gosh, they're so old. I will never be that old enough to, to, to be inducted to Hall of Fame. And I'm like, I'm here. You know, I started when my daughter was two months old. I walked in to Lake Tahoe Caps Conference, had no money, no business background, just thinking that I read a newspaper and saw computer software that was coming into the fashion industry. And I thought, you know what? I think I can teach people how to use the software. And I'm going to start a college. All the people who's been here um, really paved the way to get to where we are. You know, as a poor immigrant, single mom, who couldn't speak a word of English, didn't have a college degree, and had no social connections, I was able to start a college. And yeah, I worked 18 hours a day, seven days a week. I didn't know what nightclub was until about 2014. <laughs> but I was able to sell that company and retire in my 30s. And then I grew up, started six more companies, and finally got my college degree to make my parents proud. And you know, then became a philanthropist to give back. This only happens in America. It's so surreal. It doesn't happen in anywhere else in the world. We're number one economy in the world, but with third world education system. It is a crime when you think about what's happening in our inner cities. Kids who are born in the wrong zip code don't have an opportunity for a good career or a better life. They don't even know what's available for them. They have less opportunity than a poor immigrant. That's why my heart belongs to inner city. These kids, they don't grow up and become like super smart at 18 overnight to go to Harvard or Yale. They need skills training. And no one does better than our sector does here. These kids need someone to hold their hands to fill out financial aid applications, not because we're greedy, because they don't know how to fill out these applications. They need student services to call them every day and say things are going to be OK. They need academic advising and free tutoring so that they can have skill sets to learn how to study. They need career services to help them to write resumes and sit with them to do mock interviews, open doors to get job interviews. Without this village and army of people who are committed to help our students, they can't get there on their own because this is America with a third world education. Our dedicated Fremont College team is here and I can't thank them enough because every single one of them bleed for our students. Like a lot of you who are in this room, we are inspired by our students every single day because they change their lives and change our lives. We're so passionately committed for them to be successful. And that's the reason why we do what we do. This is our life. We have not changed our mission. We have not changed our calling. This is the reason why we stay here in this room through thick and thin, good times and bad times. Because as we live our lives, there are good times and there are bad times. During good times, everyone has a great time. That's why it's called the good times. <laughs> but during the bad times, what we decide and how we act really determines the character and trajectory of the future. This is a bad time for our sector. I know there will be some strong institutions who will survive. And I know God gives us rainbow after the storm. As a sector, how we support, collaborate, and work together to help these institutions is our cumulative responsibility for the survival of America's future. I believe in this greatest country on earth. I believe in America that is so generous, so kind, 
and so grand for ideology, equal opportunity, and the core principle of free commerce. I believe in the resilience of this sector, and I believe in every single person in this room are here because we want to do the right thing and do good for the society. So thank you so much for this honor. I can't describe in words how responsible I feel to be here and grateful for everything that has happened. So thank you. Thank you.